Hello from TNetDragon.com. This is Ji Sifu. Today we'll be talking about uh, the magic that we're doing, Sam Lo San Gong, and unleashing some deeper knowledge inside the magic lineage. And again, if you really want to learn the magic for real, feel free to contact us by email and we'll get you going. Now, there are a lot of stuff in this video, just like I said all the time, that you may not understand because it correlates to other things that we have already explained in the previous lectures. So watch the previous lectures if you don't, and feel free to always go back and watch all the stuff in the playlist and other playlists in our channel, Teen Yet Dragon, on YouTube. Okay, so today I assume that you know the stuff in the past and I'll keep going. So the stuff that I would talk about today is on what is Phoenix? Phoenix is Fong. Fong. Okay? Fong. Fong. Like this. Mm, fong. This is Cantonese, by the way. Okay? Let me draw. Phoenix. Right. Phoenix. What is Phoenix? Just like... Let me check the screen again. Oh, good. You can see it. <laughs> okay. So, just like um, the word of dragon, it's not about any physical animal. Phoenix have nothing to do with animal in magic, okay? Just like dragon. When we talk about phoenix, it's not about praying to a phoenix, you know, the, the that kind of thing. So it's not, 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 not about that, okay? Just like dragon. This is actually about energy transmission and how energy is used. And now let us decode this with the same grid that we have been using throughout the whole series and stuff and let you understand. So, phoenix, fong. Let's learn how to say this. Fong. Fong. F. Fong. There's a little N sound. Like Fong. Like this. Okay? Fong. Like this. Fong. Okay? Okay. So we're done with this. Let's get on with the grid. The grid. Now, again, I'm going to repeat this again. The grid is very important. Okay? So things always go from here to here. This is side A, the proactive side. This is the responsive side, okay? So this is the proactive side right here, the proactive. Proactive side is like um, from me to other places, to whatever destination. Now things go down and happen. This is like time, okay? So it always has three stages. Teen, day, yun. Three stages, okay? This is the medium. Okay, medium. M. For example, proactive side from me. I want to go to washroom. Now, between me here and the washroom, there's a distance. In order for me to get into the washroom, there's a door. Door. Okay? M medium. From me, bringing my knowledge to you, the medium is the a lot of stuff inside, okay? But in order to really go out of my universe, there is, can be a video, can be YouTube, can be internet, okay? A lot of stuff in the middle. So those are the mediums, okay? So this is you. Your side, my side. Middle, the stuff between uh, you and me and how I can bring my stuff to you. This is all the same theory all, all, all the time. Okay. Now, fong, let us try to draw. The first stroke means to use up the resources and the elements on my end, okay, from the proactive side. Use it up all the way to use up everything. Okay. While it's being used up, it brings the element and intention and all the plans and all the, all the resources up there, okay, through the medium to your side. And then it just executes into action and go to your final state, your physical state, 
to affect your stuff, to to help, like to influence things that is already in your final state. It just go like that and kneel into your place. It's like saying you have your house, which is your initials, like whatever you have right now. Okay. Now by using up my energies, such as uh, say if I have water and all that stuff, okay, now I will use up all my water through a medium, which is a hose, and then I will spray and then get everything on your side wet. As you can see, just this part already means a lot, okay? So it's always, always like that. Now with this inside here, after it influenced your physical stuff, and then now the medium will use up its elements, use up the resources, whatever is inside the medium, it will get used up. Now these resources on the proactive side end will get into a process. This process right here, okay, is finished to the finish line, okay. The process go here and finish processing. Now the by doing that, the elements from the proactive side through the medium brings the responsive side to an action and set the proact the responsive side uh set this thing to a finalized stage. Action happen, build the bridge, and finalize. And after that, okay, the final result that the proactive side wants is reached to this this side. And now the final result then brings to all the way to here. Okay, brings all the way to the responsive side, and then it just nail in to the medium. Uh, final stage that is about to launch to the responsive side, okay? And then the essence, everything from the proactive side is done. Everything that the proactive side want the medium to do is done. Everything that the proactive side want the medium to launch is done. And now, whoops, one, one more dot here, number four dot, sorry. And now, it is about to launch. These four dots right here means it's about to launch. Things are already and about to launch. After this stage is done, it's launched, then things can go here. Okay. As you can see, the the properties of Feng of Phoenix. It's not about any flying thing up in the sky. It's about when energies and resources and stuff is used up from the proactive side through a medium and all the way to affect and influence the responsive side. After that, the medium goes through all kinds of workings with the processing uh, and then it is all done and ready to launch the stuff to the responsive side. Okay. So, this is not like giving birth to something. Fung, it's just about to launch. It doesn't give birth to a new thing like, like how dragon does. Dragon give birth to the new thing. It just give birth to new happenings, inherit, keep inheriting. Now this one is about to launch. When we talk about Fung, usually you relate to, like the phoenix, you relate to female. The dragon is like a male. That, that's kind of true. They have the properties in uh, how they give birth to things. Now this is after, this is talking about the stage uh, that can you can fit into pregnancy. This is when the whole pregnancy is done. The stomach is all bloated and stuff. This is like the pregnancy is all ready. After all the processing inside, which is the, the pregnancy, the month of pregnancy, it is about to launch. It is about to give birth. Now that is Feng. So when we, like it's just different stages of Feng. Okay, if you don't have this yet, it's still in the pregnancy stage. Now when you have this, it means that pregnancy is ready to, to come out, like the, the baby is ready to come out. So 
basically you can even change this word around by not drawing these four dots and restrict the phoenix to not go large. Now we're just going to have something pregnant in here. And then we can also change it to other things. In, For example, you can change it to here. Draw something out. You don't want it to launch. You want it to pregnant. And then that pregnant stuff inside, the baby inside the pregnancy stage, now goes through a mo now process. Now it will go through a process. You can change everything. You can also put another word. Like for example, if we go like this, and then we add the word of tiger right here, okay? Fu, like this. So now we're going to go from the baby after pregnancy inside the stomach. We will use up the baby to distribute all its essence to different uh, departments inside the body. Now that sounds kind of crazy to human, but if you actually don't look at this as baby, we use it in a full talisman. We're talking about like pre-heaven energies. Now, if the energies go into your body, you consume it and about to launch, you're going to use up the energy. Now, we don't want it to use up. We want the energies to just nourish your body, different parts of your life. Then we add this tiger, then it basically just distribute all the pregnant or the, or the ready energy to distribute to different parts of your life. Then it nourishes. As you can see, the whole word can be decoded like this. Now let me just keep those four dots here. Okay, so <laughs> continue. Now, um, the same pattern is kind of uh, hard to understand, but let me just put some subject here so you can understand. Now, again, let's uh, do this example as this is a company, okay, Sony. Now this is you, your side, okay. The medium is the worker. Sony wants to pass its idea to the worker. And then the worker creates a TV to you. Okay, you will have a TV at the end. Now this this is ideas and money. Okay. Money, ideas and such, all the resources. Sony, the boss, wants to pass everything to the worker to create a TV. The TV will go to you. This is the product, okay? Now, let us sub in the phone, Phoenix pattern. First of all, all the resources and ideas and all the good stuff from the boss, the top level, will be used up. Now, this is the stage when everything is being used up and consumed like a fuel to the whole project. The money, the ideas, everything put to action, okay? To the end. And at this stage, the stuff from the boss side or the management side now transfer through the medium and build a bridge to the final launching stage. And then it will be used up and go to this side and bring influence to your life. What is the influence? The TV will go to your life and you will have the TV to use. Now, in the middle of this whole thing, the workers use up the resources and ideas and money, everything, the, the elements from the top. Okay, So the workers use it up and then bring it into action, which is to process. Now to process what? To bring the whole process through this whole worker's structure to bring it to the, uh, to, to the factory and start making. This is the factory line, mix to a final result, to, to the final product. Put the action that the boss or the management wants to the workers. Finalize it. And then final product is set. The final product is now bring to the launching stage and set the destination to launch. Now, all the stuff from the boss is, is there, is completed. All the stuff from the management level is completed. All the stuff from the workers is completed. Now this is the launching, the marketing stage is completed. Next stage, after this, is to push it out. To push it out, to launch. As you can see, Phoenix, give power, 
energies, all the factors that it needs for something to give give birth to something, for something to be born. If you lack the energies and essence and elements to give birth to something, now this helps. Using this method, Feng, helps. For example, if you want to give birth to your ideas, like you're stuck, you're, oh, I cannot think of anything, okay? You want to, or, or like, okay, you thought of something, but it cannot just come out, you know? You get it here, you know what you, you're thinking, it just cannot come out. You want to give birth to it, so that it can come out to, oh, I get it, like that, okay? Like a light bulb moment. Now this phone helps. Now ex another example is when someone is pregnant and having issues with labor, like giving birth, the baby just cannot come out. By using a magic related to this phone, it can help the baby to, to poop out faster because it gives the momentum, the energies and the resources to speed up all the process in the middle to help you unclog all the obstacles in the middle of the process. Just by writing the word phone itself already have this kind of energy working and such inside. So the, the phone in magic is not the flying bird thing. It's just all about how the stuff in the sky level, which is, of course, the boss, resources, energy, elements, money, all the wealth here. To use it up, keep flapping the wings, which means to use up its energy through a medium to affect things on this end. To affect, bring effect, bring energies to indirectly affect the other side. And because of that, things can be born. Things can come to life, can come out, can launch. When you cannot launch something, you want to use this. This is the launching power to, to launch your energies, launch something to give birth to something. Now, the same thing can also be used in magic to say, encounter an attack like spiritual attack, okay? You want to launch the spirit so that the spirit get, get its butt kicked out of the way. Okay, let me draw a picture. The same pattern used in different things in magic is why magic is so powerful. You just need a pattern and the pattern can do many things. Now, let's say this is you, okay? you. Now there's a spirit inside you. Kind of cute. <laughs> okay. The spirit possessed you. You want to kick the spirit to go out to here, maybe to a trash can. You want to exorcise the spirits out of you to the trash can, okay, in order to save your butt. What happened is, with the magic of Phoenix, what you can do is give birth to the spirits, to launch it, to launch, okay, poop it, whoosh, launching power. Now, after this is done, the spirit will go here. You launch the spirit out of yourself. Launching power. You can launch many things. A gun. Gun. Launch. Bullet. Arrow. Launch. You can also launch a piece of paper. Now that is fun. A lot of stuff can be launching. Launching things. It's addictive. You can launch many things. You can launch rubber bands. You can launch tissue. You can launch by blowing. You can launch by elastic and... You can launch by throwing. You see, the method of Phoenix can be done and executed in many ways. Now, this is just a launching power. The power that can 
put into your launching process right now and create a, a result for you. So how to launch depends on your magic. What magic tool are you using? Now, usually when we use the sword in magic, okay, usually the newbie student will refer to it as the dragon uh, properties because it just straight and, cr and creates stuff. Now, the same thing. Phoenix properties can also apply to sword. You launch the power out of the sword. You launch it. See, the whole idea of this is to use the pattern of Phoenix or other things and apply it. The same pattern applies. Now, just like my other video, I gave you a um, an example of a food, right? Now let me just do another foo here, very simple. Okay, this is a foo. Okay. Now if you watch my other video on the dragon let me see if you can see the food. Okay, good, you can see it. Now on the dragon uh, lecture, dragon uh dragon, no, the tiger. I gave you a foo example, okay? Again, this word at the first is tickling. This is to 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 bond a command into position, okay, to bond a command, like to, you type a command, okay, now you bond it to here. Now the three dots, the three, the three check marks, like this, tick, 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 like this, okay. You draw the first one first, this is the medium, okay. From, if I am casting the magic, giving you the foo, okay, this side is me, this side is you, this side is the foo. Okay? From me, my energy go to the foo and go to you, okay, the foo, the piece of paper. Now, first of all, you are using the foo. The first stage is the foo, energy all here. And then it my energy that kicks in, and then all the energy get transmitted to your side, you see? All the stuff, intention and stuff to your side. Now, this is the loopy. We explained it in the previous lecture already. The foo, use up the energy and bring my side, my elements to your side and create stuff, okay? Now, this loopy here, this is a one loop, okay, one. Now, this one is referring to the time long stage to start doing stuff, to have the intention, to, to start kicking in intention. Now, this is to use up the foo, use up my energy, and then through the foo to your side and create things to affect whatever you are at right now, the physical state right now, okay? Now these four words means fo feng ling ling. Fo feng fo is the fire elements in the five elements cycle. The fire elements. First, the uh, action, uh, essence of action, it's all here. The medium use it all up, okay? Use up the fuel. And then through the action, it creates the results to the other party, to the re responsive side. And now all the action has taken a reaction already on the other side. Okay, So if, if this is like the spark up point, when things are all done and the action just sparks. Okay, for feng ling ling, for is to spark up stuff. So for example, if you're doing something, you just need something to trigger or spark up or add power to you so that you can finish the stuff. You can you can kick it to the point that it can launch, right? So this is four element to help you do that. And then feng, the whole thing we just explained with the launching power. Okay, so you add this fire element, the feng element, ling ling ling. This word you can see a four under here, okay? This is the fire underneath. Now what is this? This is the medium, okay? This is the middle, right? The medium. 
So the medium brings whatever from my end to you, bring you into action. Now transfer my action to your side, and then the result from me to your side. Now this is this word length means after all the stuff is transferred from the proactive side to the responsive side, spark up. This is the meaning of length. It spark up. Now why two? Why why two length here and not one length? This is because the first link is to link the team, the resources, okay, to spark up stuff by using up the resources. The second one is the day, to use up the resources and then spark up an action. The whole word here, for Feng Ling Ling, is to give energy to something and spark up the, the, the launching or the action power. So it helps the stuff there uh, to keep going and, and give birth and do whatever it's supposed to do. It's giving it a, a power of launch power. Like when you're trying, for example, if you're trying to do a business, the business cannot be successful because it just cannot launch its, its product out. Now having this for Feng Ling Ling to the, to the business, the business owner carry this food. It will help the business owner to, to uh, empower his uh, internal workings and bring his thoughts and ideas and resources to workings and give birth to the new product or the new plan, whatever. And it just helps with everything to give him that firepower inside the whole business process. And that is the meaning of Fo Feng Ling Ling. Now, this is to use up the energy of the food and then to do this inside. Okay, so this is basically an example of how it can apply to a simple food. And if you don't get all these deep wisdom, the deeper understanding of what a phoenix is really about in magic, you will totally not get it. And the magic will not work as well because you don't have the heart of stuff there. Now just by listening, and if you understand, of course it doesn't work just like that, you need to ordain into the lineage in order to inherit that magic power, the seed of the magic, in order to have resources to use to execute these methods. These are like methods, they are like the guns. Okay, Now you know how gun works, it's time to get the bullets to get into the lineage. And then there goes the bullet, and it will tell you how to cultivate to make your own bullet so that you can use it inside the gun. You see, magic is very deep. It's not like something you can just, oh, I believe it. They just, you know, keep doing the same stuff every day and expect stuff to happen. It's not going to happen. Magic is very deep. You need to learn it as a subject, as an expertise, as a professional subject. Just like saying you want to learn how to fix TVs or do programming. It's a very deep subject. There's no shortcut and there, there is a lot of learning that is required. There's no shortcut. If anyone says there's magic, can like you can learn it and then it will be useful in one day, it's impossible. That is like a scam because it's not supposed to be like that. Nothing in the world can be shortcut. Even learning how to cook, is not. there's no shortcut. You need to really learn and put time and effort into the learning in order to be able to cook. And also, not only that, you need time to cultivate the food in order to have food to, to cook. Now, just like pregnancy, it takes time, effort, and all those, all those ingredients before the pregnancy or even before everything can start. It takes a lot of time, effort. And just like pregnancy, there's always a factor of faith. How this female can get pregnant. Now, it depends on the male. And how can the female connect to that male that match the female. Everything is like you have to consider, like put all these into consideration. It's not just, oh, I want to give birth and then suddenly the female can give birth, right? You need a, a male there. You need resources. You need faith between the two. So learning magic is the same thing. If you want to really have magic to, that you can use and the magic power that you can use, uh, listening to these gives you the understanding of what is inside. Like just telling you, oh, this is how the gun works and stuff like that. If you really want to have magic that you can use, you need to ordain and learn the magic inside and inherit the power inside. And that is why you have to ordain to the lineage. Anyway, so um, hope you guys like this lecture. Uh, basically clears up a lot of 
fun stuff for you guys and stay tuned for my future videos we'll be explaining more things like that and eventually you got to understand a lot more about what these words really mean okay so we'll see you next class bye bye remember to subscribe and like bye bye